Hey, and welcome to Board With Life News for June 3rd. Today I'm gonna to talk about my top 10 games to check out at the Origins Game Fair. Let's get to it. Hey, I'm Chris, welcome to Board With Life News. So the con season has officially kicked off with Origins Game Fair that's going on this weekend. Um, Origins is a pretty popular board game convention held in Ohio. Um, and I have compiled a list of my top 10 games that you should check out while you're there, if you're going. Um, these games are either just released, they're getting released at Origins, or they're about to be released, but they have demos running, um, so you can check them out at Origins. I'm going to go really quick through this list because I don't want to waste all your time. I just want to give you a little taste and stuff that sounds interesting to you. You should check out. Um, I got all this stuff off Aaron, Eric Martin's really good uh, list on Board Game Geek of games that they're showing at the fair. I will link you down in the comments below. So if you're interested in any of these, uh, go ahead and check that out. Also, uh, these are in no order, particularly. So it, yeah, deal with it. Up first is The Voyages of Marco Polo. Um, the reason I'm so interested in this game is it's the same design team that designed Sulkin, which is an absolutely amazing, uh, brain burny really innovative uh, game that I am a huge fan of and is very interesting. This game's for two to four players. It has dice rolling as well as pick up and deliver mechanics. And if you know me at all, you know that I like dice in my Euro games. So that's why I'm excited about this one. Up next, Elysium, uh, hot off its Kinnerspiel de Yaris nomination. Um, this is a drafting set collection card game for two to four players. Uh, if you've watched uh, the news a week or two ago, you know that I have no idea how to play it because I haven't played it and it is very confusing to me, but um, still very interesting. So you should check that out. Wakanda is a set collection press your luck game for two players. Um, the reason I'm really interested in it, it's very cute, it has really nice artwork, and it's about um, stacking totem poles uh, is your set collection or sets on totem poles. Um, so it has really nice components and looks really great on the table. Dragon Run, I talked about this one months and months and months ago on the news. It's a two to five player push your luck, take that game. Um, my main thing, why I'm so interested in it, is it's got artwork by Vincent Juriet, who is the guy who did the artwork for Lewis and Clark, as well as some other games. For my money, he's the best board game artist working in the biz today. Uh, his stuff's absolutely gorgeous, and Dungeon Run is no exception. Keeping with uh, the theme of games that Vincent Juriet did artwork for, New York 1901 uh, is a tile placement city building game for two to four players. Uh, it looks simple, um, it looks interesting, and boy is his artwork absolutely gorgeous. Up next is Catacombs. Catacombs is actually a reprint of a game that came out like five or six years ago. Had a huge Kickstarter um, to get the reprint done. They redid the artwork, which was great because the original game had kind of dark fantasy themed artwork where they redid it to be very cutesy and cartoony artwork, which is great because it's a dexterity uh, disc flicking game. So it's kind of like lighter artwork to go with kind of lighter game. Um, really looking forward to this release. Ashes, Rise of the Phoenix Born is a two to four player LCG um, coming out from Plaid Hat Games. Uh, it has wonderful art and it has some uh, interesting new twists on the uh, collective card game, living card game uh, model. Up next is Lagrangia. Uh, this is a game for one to four players about developing farms. It's got area control, dice whirling, worker placement, whole bunch of mechanics in there. Uh, this has been gathering a bunch of buzz over the past year or so, so I'm very excited to try this one out. Next up, Cacao. Um, I actually have a copy of Cacao, um, and I have gotten it to the table a couple times. I absolutely love it. Um, Phil Walker Harding, the designer of it, also designed Sushi Go and Archaeology, and I absolutely love his design style where he does very simple games um, that are very easy to grasp, um, but they're still a ton of fun. This is a tile placement game that is both familiar yet plays unlike any tile placement game I've played before. So. Um, definitely uh, a game that I'm a big fan of. And last, but certainly not least, because as I mentioned, this list is not in any particular order, is Sylveon, which is a one to two player area control drafting game. This game's set in the Oniverse, which um, probably the most popular game in that is Onirim. Uh, they're all with games with a focus on solo play and they have really good artwork and they have the, the general theme is dreams and stuff. Um, so very interesting stuff here. Uh, you should definitely check it out. All right, that's the news for this week. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, make sure that you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe on YouTube. Make sure that you go check out our podcasts on iTunes or however else you listen to podcasts. We have both uh, Board of Life Radio, where we're doing our Dungeons & Dragons uh, run-through, as well as Houses & Humans, which uh, is a podcast where we have different guests on and play all sorts of indie RPGs. So um, definitely go check those out, and I will see you next week.